Hey, what is going on guys? Gecko Guy here. I know it's been a long, long time since I've done a video. Um, I just wanted to take a quick moment to kind of go over Ryobi's new 2019 tool line. Um, I know this is kind of a different video than what I normally do for my channel, um, but I have a Ryobi tool kit set that I'm pretty pleased with. Um, so here's some of the stuff for their 2019 lineup and I'm fully prepared to get a little bit of backlash and some hate for this, but um, there, there are certain tools that I do think should be improved, but other things like this grease gun, um, I, I think that's kind of gimmicky, if you ask me, um, although it's kind of cliche to kind of make my first impressions on it, because for one, it, it takes your 18-volt your series, um, and then you have this little trigger mechanism, um, and then it, you got your grease that flows out of this nozzle. Uh, most of the grease guns that I've used um, that are very similar to this style, um, you kind of pull the handle uh, manually, kind of like a cock gun. But anyway, this is a Ryobi P3410 1 plus 18 volt grease gun. Maximum pressure of 10,000 psi, powers through most. Uh, powers through clogged grease fittings, max flow rate of 7.5 ounces per minute which increases work efficiency onboard LED. Work light helps illuminate the workspace. Um, but generally, you have a shop light that does that for you. 30 inch and flexible hose for accessing hard to reach grease fittings, which generally these are plenty long enough to do that by themselves. And they're not much different in design than this. Plunger rod markings allow users to gauge how much grease is left in the tube um, that's not terribly difficult to look yourself convenient onboard hose storage um, all right I guess you just put in those little clips but generally a tool like this a grease gun I don't really care to have that but hey that's kind of cool that they put a little innovation in that air bleeder valve quickly primes and pump primes the pump and reduces air pockets okay well Generally, when you have this, you give it a little bit of a tap tap, um, click of the trigger to make sure you have some grease coming out first so you don't get ear pockets. Steel grease too for maximum durability. Lock on, lock off trigger helps avoid work, workplace mess. Um, so that makes me wonder does it continuously ooze out if you don't put that locking mechanism in there? It'd be interesting to see. Although I, I don't personally feel like this is a tool that I would ever buy because I'm not a hardcore mechanic or anything. Um, I'm just an average home DIYer. Um, so I really don't think I would need something like that. Pumps up to 19 grease cartridges per charge using a P108 lithium uh, plus battery not included. May 2019, $129 for the bare tool, which that's pretty steep and up there and then you have to get your own batteries you have to get your own charger so this right here easily is going to be a $200 plus tool and I know for $129 you can get a mechanical ones that'll last way longer you don't have to worry about having it crap out on you halfway through your work day or whatever or your little project that you're working on at your house a couple of vehicles you're working on I don't I don't know but I, I think that's this is one of the biggest items that people are looking forward to and I feel like it's kind of a gimmick kind of like how certain lawn care equipment like uh, Black & Decker has a 3-in-1 weed weed eater trimmer edger um, it, it's kind of like a lawn mower attachment like it's a 13 inch lawn mower but you're mowing your whole grass with a weed eater essentially so that I think is kind of gimmicky. Now let's see, Ryobi P4003 1 plus 18 volt 50 foot drain auger. Um, let's see, 349 for the bare tool. I mean, it, it, drain auger is a drain auger no matter how you look at it. There's some that are in this price range that are <clears throat> more length for the auger and you don't have to worry about batteries. Um, some of them you can just plug directly in. Um, let's see, clear strains up to three inches wide, adjustable, yada yada yada. Quick change replacement, drum and amp tips, 
variable speed. Now, I, I would like this to be a corded tool. Um, this, again, it, for 350 bucks for a bare tool, and still you have to get your own chargers and everything, you, you might as well just run over to Harbor Freight and use your little 20 20% 20, 20 off or 25% off, whatever they give you, and just go get go get a drain auger. You, you probably don't even need something like this unless you're a super hard contractor. Now, take take uh, my whole first impressions as a uh, DIY average homeowner perspective. I probably wouldn't need this. And for $349, if I have a super bad clog or whatever, I might as well just or um, call a contractor anyway for that. Um, Ryobi P3 one five zero one plus eighteen volt heat gun. Now this uh, that that actually is pretty okay. That that's pretty decent. I've got an eighteen volt um, batteries. I got the two amp hour. I'm not too hot on their two two amp hour batteries. Um, I I feel like for me they drain really quick for just average uh, stuff that I'm trying to do. Um, like for an example, I'm trying to chop up some chop up some old fencing with my uh, 18 plus uh, sawzaw and the two amp hour battery can't even cut through um, 30 30 minutes worth of chopping chopping up those old fence boards and I feel like it's really struggling with that two amp hour but I you know you're gonna have to upgrade to the four amp hour but for a tool like this for the heat gun I think two amp hour would be plenty. Uh, I mean, if you're doing a lot of soldering work and you don't need to have this heated up and ready to go right away, let's say you get your joints uh, all soldered up and you have your um, your heat shrink tubing already on there, just a couple little passes of that. It probably shouldn't be that terribly heavy, but I have a soldering station that's a two and actually a three in one deal. It's got its own um, um, multimeter built into it. It's got a heat gun attachment already and it's got its own soldering iron on it that heats up to 400 degrees. I'll have to do a, a separate video on that. Um, but let's see, $99 bare tool and $99, like I just said, I will buy you that soldering station, heat gun, and multimeter all in one. Um, I'll try to put a link in the description below of the model that I've got that's very similar. Um, but let's see, temperature of 875 degrees, reaches operational in 10 seconds. Well, that that's pretty good. That's pretty decent. Deflector nozzle. It, I'd, I'd be kind of interested in seeing what kind of nozzles and tips it, it'll have. Like, can it do some SMD work? Can it do um, just hot air soldering? I don't know. But this, this actually is pretty cool. Um, the rotary tool, $69 for the bear tool. That, that... I, that okay yeah that I definitely would consider buying and then you just have to put your battery in there and this would be great for my RC guys you know take it take it everywhere with you um, it comes with the bunch of these cutting wheels but again uh, $69 bare tool um, an extra 30 or 40 dollars will get you a really nice Dremel 4200 model which plugs directly into the wall so you don't have to worry about running out of this the Dremel has so many more attachments like you get you can buy one of these doodads right here the little um, like that the pencil rotary attachment whatever they call it um, but the grip on there before even using this tool by Ryobi um, that looks pretty darn good like I do like the feel of Ryobi tools like I like that um, that whatever kind of plasticky matte grip to them I, I feel like that would be very well nice in the hand um, my Dremel I'm not too keen on I feel like it's very slidey I wish they would put um, a little bit of like gripping material or whatever on there but variable speed up to 34,000 rpm for enhanced performance that is pretty good uh, 33 accessories included 36 inch uh, flexible shaft so three foot uh, flex shaft that that's pretty a generous amount of um, length and now with these I'm sure they're gonna have Ryobi's own line of um, rotary Dremel whatever you want to call them attachments um, but you can just go go down to Walmart for like 12 bucks and you can get a 
hyper tough or whatever they have the the um yeah i think it's hyper tough i, I bought like a hundred something piece kit for like 12 bucks and it's a very similar quality to these it's just the concept of do you like windex or do you like great value all right a uh, 79 dollar bear tool for this crown stapler the p317 one plus 18 volt 3 8 crown stapler um, so if you're doing a lot of crown molding, I feel like that would be for you. Um, maybe if you're like a independent contractor or maybe you're helping a friend or family member out, you're doing some crown molding, but I, I'm, I don't really do a whole lot of crown molding. I do a lot of painting, um, but that wouldn't really require me to have any Ryobi tools, but that, that is pretty good. An eight, uh, $79 bear tool and... I, I don't crown staple very often, um, but I would probably consider this um, a pretty good buy. I don't I don't think this is really gimmicky. Um, I, I definitely believe that having a variety in staples and nails um, for what you for whatever project you're working on, um, this could be good for picture framing. Um, definitely your crown molding, like it says, um, and then there are other. They have other staple guns available as well. Um, up to 5,500 staples per one charge on the four amp hour battery sold separately. Um, let's see, capacity to fasten a wide range of crown staples from 1 4th um, and 9 16th. Uh, looks like they were having a little bit of issues with their um, wording on the website here 1 4th and quote. Um, semicolon yeah I, I don't know what that is all about compatible with arrow t50 uh, staples knob control controls the amount of depth that it goes into the wood so that's pretty nice uh, let's see soldering iron now again forty dollar bare tool now that that this is probably one of the cheapest should buy tools that I don't think is very gimmicky that handle right there just looks very grippy I, I do like that when companies put a lot of grip because I like to do a lot of fine electrical like soldering uh, circuit boards so that would definitely be a good thing to have especially for my RC guys um, available March 2019 um, this I, I do believe would be a good thing to have especially if you're just uh, taking your RCs out on the field and you don't want to hook up your soldering iron to your car battery, this would be a definite, definite good buy. But again, you have to buy your own um, charger. But my my six tool kit came with a 30 minute charger and two, two amp hour batteries. So that was good. Um, up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, LED lit, LED tip, or LED light indicators. No one knows when it's uh, the tip is hot. Three foot reach. So good. I, I'm so tired of having such a short cord when I'm trying to solder. All right, now let's see. The P31 plus 18 volt soldering station up to 900 degrees. Okay, up to 900, hybrid technology, unlimited runtime, yada yada. So I would assume that it runs into, um, you can run it off a wall circuit which generally when I'm doing my soldering I just have it um, in my basement and that's where I do my soldering I don't really take anything on the field out on the go because um, I'm not a general contractor like that but uh, $80 for the bare tool I think that's that's pretty good um, that, that's not too terrible um, like $80 will get you um, that, that soldering iron that has the heat gun and the multimeter built into it so is this something i would buy i mean i mean i already have two soldering irons so i don't feel the need for another one unless i would do review purposes but i don't really use my soldering iron as much as i'd like to anymore um let's see the 3 8 impact wrench so that is a definite if you're trying to work on your vehicle or need a lot of strong uh oomph to get you going through your day or to try to get that that um that bolt off so 300 3400 impacts per minute um 150 foot pounds three and 
3 8 inch square anvil with hog ring to easily change sockets. So that looks like it'd be a pretty good thing, um, especially if you're working on automobiles. All right, so there's some good and there's some not so good from Ryobi for the 20, 2019 lineup here. Um, and some of their their um, their lawn care items, like their trimmers, uh, I I really have not been liking the reviews that I've been seeing lately. Um, I, I'll stick I'll still stick to my gas equipment for a lawnmower, and as far as like trimmers and such, you can get a Black and Decker for like fifty sixty dollars or something like that, and it just runs off an extension cord. And a lot of a lot of companies are starting to go with the battery powered stuff anyway, so. You might as well look into options like that. I'm a kind of a get the job done, but don't go so cheap on the tool where you can't get it done. Um, so let me know your thoughts and opinions on something like this in the comments below. I, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of backlash and um, a lot of hate for kind of ragging on something I haven't even reviewed yet. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Sorry, it's been a while since I've made videos, but here you go.